I believe there was some armor here lying around. How much fucking shots do their shields take? That's what I want to know. Salutations viewers and welcome back to my video gaming channel. My name is Gene and today you guys are here with me for the seventh episode of Let's Play Coltic. Uh, so far this game has been a blast. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying watching me play this game as much as I have been enjoying playing it. Uh, the previous level was called the Chapel and it was a rather quick level and it was somewhat, I would say, I don't know if stressful was the right word, but it was some somewhat of a hectic level because it was hard to kind of provide you a proper way of you know of of playing this game giving a viable strategy to play this level is kind of difficult because it can really pop off in all kinds of different ways but today's uh level is gonna be very very different uh in comparison to the previous level because it's gonna be a huge level called the asylum grounds this is gonna be a huge level lots of exploration i believe i've mentioned that in the previous episode at the end of it lots of exploration lots of sniping this is gonna be a fun one guys so without further introduction let's get into this shit Alright guys, so just as always, we have uh, a bit of a rest during the beginning of the level. We're not gonna, you know, charge straight into combat. The level gives us the opportunity to rest a little bit, to heal our wounds, so to speak. Uh, now, during the previous uh, level, I wasn't paying attention to my ammo uh, supplies because I was just trying to survive, basically. So let's have a look right now. I obviously have 10 hatches because I seldom use that shit at all. Uh, I have a bunch of pistol rounds, I suppose 408. Then I'm completely out of uh, magnum shots whatsoever. I have 17 uh, shotgun shells and I have plenty. You could say 10 bullets, is, that's plenty, but I have 10 bullets of sniper rifle ammo. So, uh, I have 7 shots for my magnum, which isn't a lot. Um, I still have some grenade shells, also quite good. We have a lot of dynamite, and we have 20 shots for the sniper rifle. This is quite good, because um, we're going to need to use the sniper rifle a lot during this level, at least the beginning of the level. Uh, here, we're going to get more. Okay, so let's click C. We're gonna get more ammo, some armor, some magnum rounds, nice, uh, TNT crate. How much TNT do I really have right now? I'm not even sure because I have like 21 TNTs. I can chuck them shits all day long. Alright, let's break the crates. Uh, nothing here. Is there anything? Okay, nice. Shotgun shells always have to watch out for little things like that so uh, during this level we're gonna have six secrets and I'm gonna repeat myself again this is gonna be a very large level this is gonna be a long ass level uh, alright we have only one upgrade parts available we already upgraded the enhanced uh, zoom scope thing so we can basically zoom in with our gun um, everything else costs more points, so I suggest we're gonna leave that alone for now. Alright, we have plenty of ammo, so what the level wants you to do is basically go inside that camp, 
and thus wise you're gonna get ambushed. We're gonna try to do this a bit differently, so, oh shit, what am I doing? Alright, pick that up. Um, how do you swing your foot? I forget. What am I doing? Hold on. Come on, dude. No! Yeah, this is what happens when you ha yeah, okay, so it's Q. This is what happens when you don't play the game for a while, and then you try to make a playthrough of it. Okay, I wanna, so what I wanna do is, by kicking with our foot, like a karate master, we can actually get on the roof, and this is what I wanna do. Alright, alright, we're on the roof, you're technically not supposed to do this shit, I I'm already getting shot, alright. Alright, that's good, that's fine. Over there, we have a sniper somewhere. I don't know if that's the dude, but there are some snipers. Okay, I'm trying to... Okay, I believe that's his head. Okay, and I'm getting shot. Okay, we basically have like a... Hold on a second, dude. Whenever, so most of you guys know about Murphy's Law, you know, when you're trying to make something happen, it turns out like shit, even though when you play, the, like, the game without recording it, everything goes fine, A-okay. Okay, I believe that's one of the snipers over there. Alright, before I die, before I freaking die, before I just croak by playing like a dumbass, let's just do this. Let's actually play the way we're meant to play. So far it's not good, I already got it shot plenty of times. Okay, so there's that sniper. Okay, that's the first sniper that we had to kill. Uh, there's gonna be, gonna be plenty more where that came from um, but I already lost a good amount of health and this isn't good we're probably gonna have to replay this because I probably will die okay, what the fuck am I doing I'm rusty as hell this is what happens when, it, when you don't play this game for a while instead you play other games become really really rusty I don't like that one bit all right we have more magnum rounds but magnum rounds isn't really what I care about right now what I do care about is surviving we have one sniper on this side of the ridge as well okay let's try to move Yeah, I see him. That's the second sniper. Right, obviously you have to focus more when you play this game. You have to focus a lot. Um, it's just that, yeah, when I played other FPS games, they kind of feel different. You have more movement, kind of like control freedom. I don't know if you could call it that, if that makes any sense. Here in this game, it just plays out a little bit differently. Okay, come here, come here. Ooh, he triggered that freaking... Um... I swear though, I, I feel like with the patch, because I do believe some patches came out, on Steam, I feel like the enemies became much more tough, like, even this hatchet guy took like... Took like three magnum shots to the liver before expiring, my dude. Oh, I don't know how I'm still alive. And that's it, I, I died. Okay, so this was horrible, but, 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 first time is always not great. The first pancake is always lumpy, is what I like to say. So let's uh, load the most recent stage, safe state, whatever. 
I know, I'm being horrible, guys. I know, this is terrible. I, I'm also very, very unhappy with myself, but this time around, we're not going to take no prisoners. We're going to play this game the way it's meant to be played, without messing up. Uh, yeah. Like I said, the biggest mistake that I'm doing is, um, even though most of you guys shouldn't even care about this, but, because I'm giving excuses, but it is what it is. It, it really is true. Like, I haven't played this game for a while. I got rusty, and then I'm trying to make a playthrough of this level. That's not a good idea. You don't really want to do that. Okay, there's the sniper. There's the freaking sniper. There's the first sniper. Alright, enough. Enough with the blabbering and the yammering and uh, the excuses. Let's just kill everybody. Let's fucking kill everybody. Let's make them pay for being uh, aligned with the cult. Let's make these guys come here. Oh fuck, that dynamite. Alright. He's not gonna be chucking dynamite no more. That bitch is done for. Alright. Alright, let's move, move, move. You, you wanna move? You wanna evade the, the sniper shots? Uh, I know there's a sniper there. But I can't get to him yet. I'm being fired by two guys simultaneously. You can hear those kind of like little... Little kind of like bolt talking sounds go off before they shoot. I want to kind of kill the sniper that's over there, on that side. I guess it's a bit too early for that. Let's just go down. Ooh, that's a lot of freaking gore that I just heard, like blood and shit. Okay, do I have the... Um, What's his name? Okay, the shotgun cultists are out, I think. Oh my god, man! I didn't even see that bitch over there. Okay, there's a fucking sniper there somewhere. It's just, I can't see him. That's the issue. And I don't want to get shot by him. That's the thing, right? I think, I think I see him. Okay, there we go. Alright, good. It really pains me the, how, how often I die during this playthrough. Uh, like, I initially was trying my very, very best to stay alive as much as I could during this playthrough, but I, I already died a few dozen of times. Well, maybe not a few dozen, but like one dozen times. Anyway, I don't know. Okay, I think there's gonna be a sniper here. Let's try to flush him out with that TNT. That probably worked, judging by all that kind of like limb fest and, and blood and stuff. We probably killed him. Okay, first aid kit. Uh... I believe we have to open this thing. Checkpoint has been reached. We have to open this shit. Did I kill him or... Oh, shit, what the fuck was that? Something exploded. Alright. Uh, I still, I believe, you guys can't see it because of my pixelated face, but behind myself, I can see this in the interface. I still have a little bit of armor left uh, and I have plenty of health 126 health is pretty good 
I will say that. Alright, let's try to go up the cliff here. I'm gonna go up the cliff, and once I do, I hope... Shit, I'll be able to... I want to pick up some, some ammo from that sniper. I believe <coughs> there has to be like three sniper shots. Alright, three sniper shots. We can finally proceed. These snipers, yeah, they're very, very pesky, but, um... You can't really let it get to you. You just have to, if you die, you gotta, you know, restart, give it, and another shot, because, oh shit, this guy. This guy. The Special Forces guy. Alright, uh, this is also gonna be kind of tricky. We already have a sniper over there. Just waiting for us. But that's not the only sniper. I at least I don't think so. There's also one more there. Yeah, probably gotta switch to the Magnum. I don't want to spend too much Ooh, what the fuck are they doing with that dynamite, though? They, I don't know whoever their leader is. He should give them less dynamite, because these guys are getting carried away with that shit. Okay, I think I was probably very lucky, because over here you usually have a guy standing with a grenade launcher, but I think this dumbass just killed himself and has grenade launcher wielding companion and okay, we killed 20 enemies so far but well, there's gonna be lots more during this level and I mean lots and lots more okay that was one more dude with the shotgun and the TNT and all the good shit that apparently uh hillbilly American focal yokel cultists have, you know, sawn off shotguns, TNTs, magnum, rifles. Okay, this is a this is a secret area by the way. Alright, alright. So we have the first secret <laughs> for this level. I don't think there are any more snipers left here. We're gonna go straight for the second secret, just to get it over with. I forget what it is, but um, it's over here in this in this crate by the by the lake. Okay, this is weapon parts and some Molotovs. These can be very handy, as you know by now. We all know that. Any type of an enemy in this game severely hates fire and is very, very vulnerable to the flame-based attacks. So, let's switch to the, to the shotgun. I'm actually gonna save. I tried not to save. Did, did I just save or what? I tried not to save prior to playing some of these, you know, more difficult levels during the beginning of the playthrough, you know. You saw me saving a minimal amount of times, but now I tend to save a lot. Okay, the special forces guys that I very, very much hate. Okay, we, we have to, to just try to funnel the asses. We did a good job of funneling them and just not letting them come through. This was a, a good attempt on our behalf. I forget how, how upgraded my pistol is, to be honest. I kind of didn't pay attention. I know that my sawn-off shoddy is really, really, like, 
upgrade it, but uh, it's fully upgraded actually. And that's why it's doing such massive damage as you can see. Oh shit. Had to take that hatchet to the face. How did he die? I, I don't think it's because I shot him. He died prior to me shooting him. I guess that bitch just had a heart attack. He couldn't handle the stress. He just knew he was gonna die and then his heart just gave out. Alright, once we're in this cabin, I believe, the guys, the cultist guys, are gonna have like massive reinforcements, so do keep that in mind. Instead of opening the door, we're gonna be playing like a sneaky bastard, so we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna come from behind the, this, I don't know, hill, hillside hut, I don't know how to call it, but anyway, there's a lot of stuff here, good shit, uh, a lever action rifle, some armor, and we have the good old field journal number 7 written by the ex-alcoholic investigator. Two hours of driving to get out here, and nothing but religious drivel to listen to on the way. Will this, will that, it's like a broken record sometimes. We showed up to our new home, and it's this grimy old holding facility that used to process criminal admissions to the asylum out here. Cozy, right? Seems like a different company had bought the building intending to repurpose it as a kind of a way station for their trucks, but they're long since gone. The thing is, I don't think they left willingly. The truck trailers outside reek, and I know that smell. Yeah, I don't think they left willingly. It's the will that drove them out, you know? So, alright. I don't know if we're gonna get ambushed right now or after using this switch. It's probably after using the switch. So let's do this. If somebody, I think, okay, nobody came out from that path, that's where we're, we have to go. Alright, but we're gonna get ambushed here. By the shotgun guys, that's fine. That's fine, they're, they're not the worst type of an enemy, we're gonna have snipers too. And that's actually gonna be much worse. Right, where the hell are they? There they are. We have the first sniper. I don't know what kind of an ambush this is. They were supposed to ambush me, but this guy is just enjoying the view. Okay, we're gonna have to punish him for that. Him or her, I don't know. There's one more sniper. This guy's even more careless. His companion just took a headshot and I don't know what they're doing. They probably didn't have their morning coffee and they're, you know, not alert enough. Okay, am I gonna get some of their ammo, or no? I just had to fall and break my goddamn legs because I took a lot of damage. I had like a hundred something health, now I'm down to like 71. This is pretty bad, but I'm not gonna reload, I'm just gonna play it as is. Okay, I think, I believe, I, I probably killed everybody here. I don't know what happened to the ammo, because when I killed these guys, they should have dropped some ammo. I guess they didn't. Uh, anyway, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, do we have any more enemies here? Yeah, we do. We have the... Okay, I killed them. Yeah, that, those were two very quick and accurate on-point shots. I did not expect the special forces guy to be here, but I guess he was following his shotgun companions. Okay, we're gonna have a massive ambush here during this stage of the level. We're gonna have snipers come out from there. 
And there's also gonna be a new type of an enemy, like a flamethrowing guy. <laughs> a flamethrowing guy. A flamethrower guy, I wanted to say. As you can see, the level kind of... Uh, how should I say? The, the level prepares us for that by giving us some... Ammo and, and health and, and armor and whatnot. Okay, I'm thinking of how I should go about this whole thing. Because we are going to get ambushed. We will get ambushed and... There really won't be a way of how you can just jump back up. Unless you're, you excel at the, at, you know, at the karate kick that brings you higher. Alright, anyway, let's do this. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. Just get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. God damn it, man. They broke my fucking armor. Okay, well... Okay, at least, at least the sniper is gone. Okay, now... This guy is gonna be really hard to deal with because he's a flamethrower guy. Maybe I should just use some dynamite. Go, 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 go. Just retreat. Retreat. Okay, what I'm doing now is a bit cheap. Oh my god. I'm on fire. Did I get him? Yeah, I think I killed him. So, uh, when I mean cheap, like, I don't think it, you're supposed to kind of like run all the way back, but on the other hand, on the other hand, since this door never locked behind me, you know, then I guess the game level kind of like allows you to, to run back, otherwise the door would have been shut, and I couldn't go back any further. Anyway, we have the flamethrower, this thing. And this is gonna be, unless the patch has changed something since I last played, this is gonna be one of the weapons that will be crucial for defeating the final, you know, end game boss, along with the, with the sawn off shotgun. Alright, so we killed everybody here. Uh, it's quite, uh, it's quite sad that I lost a lot of armor. In fact, all of armor. But I'm good when it comes to my health. I have like full 130 health. This is where the second stage of the game is gonna kind of like kick in. You'll see that we're back at the asylum gate where everything, the, the plot has begun of the game. Take a look at this, guys. It's just we have a sniper. You can't see it yet. These guys are just blasting, trying to kill me. Anyway, we have them... Um, the Asylum. Right, we have the Asylum over here. Come on, dude. How many, how many guards are there, though? At least I have some magnum shots still left. Okay, this is... So, if I would go there, this is like literally level 1. Over there. This is the car that we had. Our uh, protagonist had this car. Oh my god, what's happening? Right, this is kind of like, I'm kind of in a pickle here, though. Can 
and I read this here. Suspicious call, the Rocky translator. Someone bust on the intercom, but never gave the secret passphrase. Maybe one of our brothers bumped the button on accident? Alright, and I believe I was the one who bumped that button during the first level. Okay, there's one more enemy here, right? Or did he run away? He probably ran away. Alright, we have to infiltrate. We gotta infiltrate the... Um, How's he alive? Alright, finally. You gotta infiltrate the asylum. And the way how you do that... You have two secrets? Yeah. The way how you do that is you go through this hole in the wall, but you have to disarm the TNT. And there's gonna be a pretty sizable force of cultists here, killing. Um, I'm gonna try... Oh shit, I'm gonna try using the, the TNT. Right, so far these bitches are suppressing big time. I'm just, I'm just firing blindly, to be honest. But I guess that did the trick, because I killed most of them, if not all of them. What are they doing? They're still chucking TNTs or what? I don't understand. Alright, there's going to be one more secret over here. Okay, hold on. Alright, we killed all of the crazy ass cultic people here that were chilling by the tents. I don't even know how they have fun. They just, you know, seemingly all they do, they just stand around like that guy that didn't notice me and I paid for it with my help I wasn't careful enough anyway we have the third secret over here uh, this is just some fuel tanks that we get what the hell what the hell man Yeah, and I lost more health, even still. Let's save the game. Whatever, just gonna override this. Alright, we killed 73 cultists. There's still more though. Uh, unfortunately, th this guy did not give me any shotgun shells. <laughs> Alright, I'm very, very low on anything that's long range. Except the sniper rifle. And we have like six bullets. Right, I don't know if I can kill the special forces guys with... With this, I'm probably gonna have to pass for now. I'd rather use the flamethrower, but I'm very, very low on, on... The problem is I'm very low on my, um, on my health. There are some supplies over there. We're gonna have to move, because this guy's gonna use that. And the damage they deal, honestly, is insane. 
That guy shot me once, and I'm down from 63 health to light. To like 25. Yeah, there's the flamer guy. So what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna try to maybe fight against him. While I'm past the, the gate. Okay, I think I got him. But I didn't get the pistol guy yet. Now I did. Alright, this Mauser C96 or how do you call this model, I don't know. It's it's just it's a godsend for killing all of these cultists because like I said, I am very much down on all of my ammo. Let's save the game. As you can see now I'm beginning to really spam save. But it's because I managed to kill a lot of serious adversaries. Okay, there's still two special forces guys over there. We can take them out by using, for an example, by using the the flamer, or rather I should say the incinerator. But before we do that, I think we'll need to stack up on some more, probably help. And the only way of doing that Alright, it's to use the chair. Okay, I want to kill the cultists over there. What? I want to be careful. That's what I mean when I'm saying careful because I'm probably going to die right now. Yeah, I think he just fucking fled somewhere, that guy. Now I have to be very, very careful unless I'm happy with dying. I know they are somewhere here, these guys. Anyway, this is where we get the the third secret, uh, the fourth, sorry, the fourth secret. All right, come here, come here, asshole. All right. Okay, so we've dealt with them. There will be one more secret here. In this truck. That's gonna be the fifth secret. But if I recall correctly, this one is gonna be very strange. It's gonna be just some, some minor stuff. This is literally a ballistic armor plate that gives you five additional armor. That's not a lot to say the least. Right, I think what I have to use is is the incinerator, incinerator the flamethrower, essentially. I gotta use it because we will have some serious enemies here. Now 
Not this guy, this guy's fine. Like, he's not hard to kill. But I do want to kill the special forces guys. Alright, that was actually easier than I thought. Because the flamer is just so damn good. Alright, we have more armor. Okay, the shield guys, I think I can kill them. Probably without even using any serious weapon. Yeah, that's a pistol guy. Okay, good. Now, where's that cult with the pistol? Do I gotta go inside here? To hunt for him, or what? Okay, one more special forces guy. Okay, there's that pistol cultist. Excellent. The flamer is just very, very good against them. Let's go here. Weapon parts and the uh, researcher notes. Number five. I've come to an interesting thought, one that I don't think the others are ready to hear. The Covenant has always treated imbuement as a divine interaction. Partaking of the body binds us to a higher power. That kind of thing. Now, I'm a man of science, so I don't subscribe to the idea of magic or gods, and while I don't fully understand what makes the imbuement process work, there are parallels to what we observe in the natural world. I think, at a microscopic level, we're seeing something more like a super parasite. It seems like a host-beneficial relationship, of course, with the strength and the regenerative benefits of the imbuement, but I think that the parasite, in this case, is pursuing something larger than just its host. So this guy believes that the will is basically a living, kind of like a parasite type of a creature and not, you know, something otherworldly. That is interesting. But I don't think we're gonna be given the answer, at least in this game. Uh, not yet. Okay, somebody's trying to kill me from up there, so we're gonna, we're gonna go back up. I don't really want to take my chances and... Okay, this, is, this was the guy, I think, that I had to kill. Alright, we killed a lot of enemies by now. <laughs> With the pistol or the flamethrower, doesn't matter. Now we're just clearing these trench lines, kind of like in World War... Kind of like in World War One, dude. I don't know if there's anybody here. Yes, there is. There's a... Who the hell is this? Is this a... This is 
one of those special forces guys that was here. Is there anything here in the, in the well? No, I, I don't think so. Even though I was expecting something good, there was nothing good. Alright, well, um, even though I have a lot of pistol ammo, I'm slowly running out. I don't really want to switch to the shoddy, because... As you can see, you, you gotta fire from long distances here, so... shotgun isn't always effective, unfortunately. Alright, so there's like 17 enemies left. I think there's going to be more than that, to the best of my memory. Don't open dead inside. Okay, don't dead open inside. You can't open this anyway. Not yet, at least. Come on, man. Alright. That shield could only save you from so many shots until it just exploded. Okay, there's that old fire, sword burst. Essentially turning our handy little pistol into something of a submachine gun almost. Alright, anyway, I think we killed everybody. I think. Or maybe no. Oh, there's still some dudes here. Okay, no, 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 no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Where will this lead us? Okay, this just leads around the asylum. They pretty much dug an entire trench system around the fucking asylum. This is like... <coughs> my dudes, this is like a military base right here. Alright, we're ready to move on. We are ready to move on. We don't have to linger here for uh, more time. Because we gotta get that dead open uh, building opened. The one where it says don't open dead or inside. And for us to do that, we gotta go over here. And this is one of the most, I would say hated moments in the game where I'm gonna have to kill three harvesters inside the maze um, while these bitches jump us. But we do have the flamethrower and we're gonna have to use it extensively. Okay, we get some more armor. Nice. Be sure to pick up everything you can. Don't hesitate while you're in this maze. Okay, what's here? I freaking forget. And okay, this is the way out. This will be the way out. It's really easy to get lost in here. Not gonna lie, guys. Okay, this is the other end. Okay, so let's go... Come on, man. Let's go here. Because I don't want to miss anything. That's the thing. While we're here, we might as well pick up everything. We have some weapon parts. <laughs> okay, I came from here. I came from here, alright. Uh, then I think I came also from, from here. 
Yeah, this is literally, yeah, where we came from. Alright, so... I think we're good for now. We gotta go this way. Okay, now if I move here... Okay, that's some health. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick up everything. Because there are a lot of little dead ends here. Okay, now if I move here... There's nothing here. Alright, let's save the game. Because once I pick up the key... We're gonna have that kind of a jump scare type of a moment. <laughs> right, there's gonna be one more, obviously. That was probably, okay, because I, I wanted to say that was probably a bad idea going here, because even when these guys are on flames, they can still impale you with the fucking chainsaw. There's going to be a third, there's going to be a third uh, harvester here somewhere on our way out. you got to keep that in mind. But I forget which way this is. It's probably this way, yeah. So to our left. Alright, just get the fuck out of the way, because this guy can chop you up, even when he's... ...dying. Alright. Alright, we made it out. We killed all of the harvesters. And we're greeted by a friendly cultist that wanted to kill us, but we're not gonna die. Not after killing three fucking harvesters like that. Okay, the bad news is that we kind of wasted a lot of, um... We wasted a lot of fucking, uh, flamer fuel. The last secret, I haven't forgotten about it, don't worry guys, is gonna be at the very end of the level. Okay, let's use the Molotovs. And I had to fuck up. I know, I always do that. I always, when I use a Molotov, I throw that shit, I'm bound to get myself on fire. Okay, any more zombies? No? Are we good? I guess we're good. We have like a an eyeball here for some reason, I don't know. On the shelf. Alright, so we have, um... The fuel canister. We have one more weapon part. Uh, I don't think you can upgrade the flamer. Yeah, so... <coughs> that's not gonna work. But we do have five weapon parts, and at this point... Um... My shoddy is completely decked out. I never even touched the, the magnum. I probably should upgrade the Magnum. Uh, I'm probably gonna do the shoulder stock for the pistol. Um, the submachine gun, as you can see guys, I'm not even touching that shit. I seldom use the stem gun. I probably mentioned this like a few dozen times by now. Uh, okay, the pistol... The, the internal magazine, I don't really need that. I'm just using a 10 round pistol, so... Um, let's... Let's just, for now, I'm probably gonna save up more weapon parts and I'm gonna invest into the Super Magnum rounds or something. Elevator maintenance. I don't know where you found all this hunk of junk, but regardless, I got it rigged up. Running off of that single generator should give you enough power to move one person at a time. So as long as you aren't using it to haul freight, 
it ought to hold up. The safer option would be to call the county and get the power turned back on or build some proper scaffolding. But there's half a tank of fuel left after I ran the load test, so that'll get you started. Okay, so I guess they hired the cultist, the cultist dude, the cultist dudes, forgive me guys, uh, wanted to, to, to get the, you know, the elevator up and running so they got like a contractor, some kind of a local technician to help them out. Alright, it doesn't matter, let's go up here. Um, we're going to have an another wave of enemies that we're going to have to kill. I don't think there's anything in the boxes here, no? Alright, let's start the the elevator. Boom. There's going to be a lot of gunfire during the second stage of the level. If somebody's chucking shit at me, Okay, let's slowly and methodically just kill them all. Okay, we're basically given a lot of ammo. I believe there's a sniper somewhere on the roof. Alright, not anymore. We got his ass. I believe I hear sirens, bro. I wanted to kill that special forces guy, but... <laughs> there he is. The way how these shields, how they... Or basically like withstanding a magnum shot is really kind of mind-boggling. Okay, let's just bounce. Let's leave. I don't really want to lose my armor. done for how much enemies do we have left we still have like a dozen a dozen guys that we gotta kill I believe we're still gonna have that um, flamethrower guy to deal with he's still there's still like a, a few left maybe one maybe two I don't know Right, there's no more sniper rifle ammo, so... Oh my god, the special forces guys are here. Yeah, they're really guarding that asylum, as you can see, like... As if their life depends on it. Alright, more napalm we picked up. Nice, beautiful more armor too and some sniper rifle ammo I don't want to kill the cultists with the sniper rifle because I can deal with them in other ways but then we have the the flamer guy And that's different. Okay, I don't know if I can... If I can get him from here.
Okay, we're risking. Right, meanwhile, let's pick up the last secret. We gotta go... Actually, no, I, I can't yet. I was about to, but I gotta go down to that. Right, I'm just gonna use the shoddy. I don't know if this is gonna work. Flamethrower guy, where are you? Okay, apparently that bitch is right under me, so... Uh, where the fuck is he? And this game can be so awkward sometimes. Did he just fall off? Where the fuck is he? Where is that guy? I can hear him using the flamer, but I don't... Oh, there he is. Oh my god, man. Is there a way how I can... This, this has to be one of those most awkward moments, you know, where... Like, you wanna, you wanna, you know, beat the level, but then you have to, like, spend, like, five minutes killing, like, this bugged enemy. Okay, we have weapon parts and we have imbued remains. That was the last secret on the ledge of the asylum over here. It would have been more uh, better if I could show you the secret without having to, to kind of like hunt for this guy. All right, can I just... I'm, I'm gonna try to use the sniper rifle. Fuck it, I don't care. Come on, come out here, you fucking guy, man. Okay, I think I got him, finally. I'm not even gonna pick up the incinerator. There's still one enemy left there somewhere. Okay, this guy. Great. I was already disappointed that I missed somebody. Alright, excellent. We have the first aid kit. Um, and even though I have spent a lot of ammo needlessly, but... This level has been finished. We have uh, all of the kills. 144 kills. We have all of the secrets. Six secrets. And this took us like 49 minutes, which isn't that terrible. Okay, so at the beginning of the level, guys, I died. I do apologize. That was just me being rusty, me getting into the game. Uh, that wasn't too pleasant to, you know, for me that wasn't too pleasant to see. I know it's kind of embarrassing, but after that uh, false start, we managed to redeem ourselves by playing this level in a more or less consistent way. The next level is going to be called The Asylum. This is also going to be a fun level, uh, lots of exploring, and we're going to do lots of just fun stuff, killing those crazy-ass ghosts and all kinds of freaking enemies of, of humankind uh, that belong to this wicked cult. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this specific level of me playing. Be sure to hit that like button uh, or hit the dislike button if you didn't like the episode. Um, I don't know. Subscribe to my channel if you want to support me. I'm going to see you real soon. Until then, take care and stay safe. There's more gore here. We got that spooky moment of, of the wheelchair passing through into the room, through the curtains, but there's nobody here on the other side. Alright, I picked up some some health, put it into my field kit. Um there's gonna be a dismembered body over here, or how do you call it, I don't know, disemboweled, you know, call it what you will, this guy, I don't know. 
let's just destroy the rest of his torso so that, you know, he doesn't look as miserable. <laughs> 